Hi, we are in Photoshop CC and we are going to work on brightness and contrast pictures that are too bright or dark. We're going to find a dark one right now and you can see it's starting to process everything and like that little um, samples of what I worked on, you can see that like from the first previous video. So I'm going to look to file open up here. I can also go open down here, but it's just a habit. I go file open. And I'm going to go into my Creative Cloud files over here. You will go into pictures and find your photos that way. I'm going to find Photoshop Elements class over here. Okay, there we go. And I have a brightness and contrast in here. I'm going to pick this one that's nice and dark. I'm going to click on it, click OK. Very good. Now, I have the crop tool open from working on the other day, and this is the little symbol. So what I want you to do is come up and pick this little square here, our rectangle, and it will give you the little rectangle marquee cue tool um, description. So we're going to click on that. This way, we don't affect the photo. We can't erase anything. Nothing can happen. We're going to go up to Image. We're going to go to Adjustments. And we're going to go to the right and do Brightness and Contrast. I'm going to pause here for a minute so you can find it and click on it. In this photo, we're going to work on brightness first because our overall picture is dark and we want to correct for that. If you're outside and your coloring is okay, but maybe a little too bright or not as vibrant as you remember, we will do we would do contrast first and then maybe take some brightness down. And we will work on one of those in just a minute. So but right now we're going to do brightness and contrast and work on that. So while we're um, working on things, I want you to pick some other photos that are maybe not as dark, not as bright, and, and see how everything plays and how everything adjusts. So I'm just giving you two um, good generic ones to work on and work on your own for the next one. As a new install, it will be in the middle so we of your screen. We don't want to block our photo. This is okay with the little eyedropper. It comes up. I don't know why, but it's normal. Go ahead and hold your mouse button down the left one and keep it down and pick up that um, toolbar and kind of move it over to the right or the left. Usually, if I'm working in an area that's darker here, I will put this up higher. If I was needed and this area up here was darker or I needed to adjust this and I didn't have to worry about what it looked like down here, I end up bringing this lower to the bottom. So you can float it around as you need to. So we're going to start in increments of 10 or 20. We're going to do our brightness. Kind of just move the slider and release the button. Maybe you can hear me clicking it to see where, how it's working on the photo. Well, it looks pretty good. So we brought up some brightness. Our color is good, but we can work on the contrast and see if we want to fix that. We do have green in here, and that's because the photo was so dark. We're trying to lighten it, so that's going to pull up the green or the noise. So keep that in mind. Also, because these numbers are very, very close, they're not totally equal, but they're really, really close, you're basically going back to where you started from. So if your brightness is where you need to make the biggest adjustment, you will only have a little bit to do on the contrast so that you don't basically go back to where you started from. But do try going on the negative side a little bit with it. Uh, it may even help your coloring, and I seem to like this a little bit better in, in here. So, you know, you go and you do this photo one day, and then the next day you may like your colors differently. So play with it, see what happens. We say okay to set it, we can also go back and do more to it if we want to. So we'll go image, we'll go adjustments, and we'll do a brightness and contrast. I've gone five times, ten times. We can, you're not limited like when you do it at the store and you've overdone it and made it too bright or too dark. Ah, now look at that. I'm just doing a little bit of brightness and look how all my colors pop. And I'm even seeing little lights in here. Uh, and I'm picking up all the nice little detail in here and in here and in my water. So I'm going to be done with that one. Okay. So go ahead and try it, play with it, work with it. 
and um, we're gonna go pick one. The next video will be flowers outside that are too bright.